In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to sort your sheet tabs. However, I didn't cover how to sort sheet tabs that contain dates because they are a little bit different. Now, in these dates here, we're using the uh, British date format where we start with the day, month and year. But you could do the same thing with the American format with the month, day and then year as well. So a weird thing about this format is that everything is sorted differently right so 0106 might happen if i had another date tab that had uh 0205 then then that one would be the next one in the order so the date would be all messed up with our original format so how do we go about solving this so let's go ahead and go into our extensions app script and jump into our app script ide now you'll notice down the bottom in the starter sheet here i have a list of four dates and if you scroll across i also got a notes here so we don't want to include the notes in this section now if you want to play along and i encourage that you do there is a copy of this starter sheet in the link in the description below so go ahead and make a copy of that now and when you're ready to go let's crack on okay so you should have your ide open at the moment here and inside the IDE you should only have the runsies function. I'm going to get rid of this sidebar for the time being uh, just to make it easy for you to see what's going on. So we'll just go into developer tools and all right cool we have space. Okay so our runsies function is just our main runsies function. It's going to actually run another function for us and that function name is going to be sort sheet tab by date cool so let's go ahead and make this main function here so we'll say function sort sheet tab by date okay so we want the ability to either sort it from the earliest date to the latest date or from the latest date to the earliest date so we might put in an optional parameter here and we'll call that optional parameter reverse and we'll have that equal to false so we'll preset this to false and let's just go up and uh, do some documentation on this function so all date sheet tabs it has an optional parameter so we're going to put in a param here and that's going to be a boolean and it's optional so we put some square braces here and that will be called reverse not reverse there cool that's all we really need for documentation let's create this function now okay so first we need our spreadsheet so const ss equals spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet this one here and then we want to grab a list of all the sheet tabs that we have in our spreadsheets and then we're going to say const sheets is equal to ss.get sheets don't forget the s at the end Okay, so our next task, we're going to do a bunch of chaining here to, to figure things out here first. So what we need to do first is filter out all the sheet tabs that contain a date in it, but not have anything other sheet tabs, like there's notes we don't want in our sheet tab. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to grab this sheets, and first thing we need to apply to it is going to be a filter function. So let's go filter, our filter method. And that method is going to take a sheet as a parameter. And what are we going to do this to the sheet? Well, first we need to get the sheet's name to compare things. So we'll say const sheet or const name is equal to sheet.getName. And then we are going to extract the date. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can do that with some glorious regular expressions. I know, stay with me. Regular expressions are amazing. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make some. So first we need to create a variable called date. And we're going to say, if the name matches, so we're gonna use the a match method here. And then we need a regular expression to match to now. So we're going to go forward slash. So first of all, we've got two digits here. Sometimes the digits might just be single digit items as well. So we need to uh, account for that. So where we forward slash D for digit. And then we're going to put in curly braces here. And we want to say if the digit is either a single character or up to two characters, 
then we want it revealed. And then we want to also include a forward slash. So we need to the escape backslash character and then our forward slash character here. So if there's a forward slash appearing after those one or two digit um, characters, then we want to do the same thing. So let's just grab all of this, hit control C and then control V over to here. And then for our last one, we want all of our characters to be up to four to, for the full year description here. So then we just need to say if the digit is equal to, in our curly braces, four. And now let's go ahead and close our regular expression and we should be good to go. So also just remember to change the separator that match your needs. If you've got a dash instead of a forward slash, change, it, change this separator to a forward slash here. Okay, so let's just check on that for the time being and see if we've got any matches. So we could console.log our date now, hit save, and we'll go up and hit runsies now. Let's see what happens. And go through authorization for the first time. Okay, so we iterated through. The iterator is showing us that we've found a date here. Uh, we've also found a date here. And we found another date. We found another date. And then there's one that says null. Uh, and that's going to be this notes section here. So our filter is working as expected. So now we can say to our filter, if the date exists, then we want to return that sheet, right? So return sheet. Okay, if it's null, we don't want to return it. All right, let's get rid of that console log and make everything a bit tidier. From this filter, we can chain onto that a sort and then sort through all of these dates. Okay, so our next one is going to be sort now. Now, sort takes two parameters, and that's going to be for us A and B. So we'll say A, comma, B. And we'll put in our little arrow function here. And this arrow function will build out down below. Now, before we run our sort, we need to first get uh, the sheet name. So this will be for sheet for the first sheet or, or sheet A, and this will be comparing against sheet B as we run through our sort. So to do that, we want to say const s date A, and that's going to be equal to a dot get name. So it's going to be sheet A will get the name. And then we also want the, the sheet B to get the name. So const s date. So sheet date B is equal to B dot get name. Cool. Okay, so now we can convert these to milliseconds and then compare the times in milliseconds. So we want to compare these dates and we can do that by using the get time method of the date constructor. Uh, to give us milliseconds as an epoch. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to say const epoch a is equal to new date. And inside that new date, we want the s date a. And then we will ask for the get time. And it returns the stored time values in milliseconds since midnight January 1st, 1970 in UTC time or the epoch, the beginning. So let's do the same for B. So we'll say const epoch B is equal to new date S date B this time and get time. So we've got two conditions. We've got a standard condition in order from smallest to largest. So from the, the latest time to the most recent time or the most recent time to the latest time. So we want to put in an if condition here. We want to say if reverse so if we stated this reverse here as true, if we put true in here, then we want it to be reversed going from the most recent time to the latest time. And then what do we want to do in our reverse? So if reverse, curly brackets for if statement. So what do we want to say? If epoch A is less than epoch B, then we will return one and we're going to do something similar here so next one is going to be if epoch a is greater than epoch b we're going to return minus one 
okay? And that'll position it in the order as it's sorting through. And then alternatively, so else, we wanna flip this on its head. So we're just gonna grab these two items here, which is Control C and Control V. And then our return here, we can go minus one and one. Or you could go, or you could change this to greater than and then this one to less than. Up to you, change either one for your preference. Okay, so if none of those conditions are met, so if they're equal, we just wanna return zero. Okay, so that's our sort handled now. So the last thing we wanna do after we've sorted all our sheets in the right order, is to set those sheets. So now we can use the for each sheet, so we'll iterate through each sheet. We wanna to get two things, so here we can have an additional parameter. So we've got two parameters, so we'll put them in our curved races here. And the first one is going to be the sheet. The next one is going to be the index. And then we'll put in our little arrow function. Okay, so for each sheet, we wanna grab the spreadsheet and we want to first set the active sheet. So the only way to sort sheets is to set active, if you remember from the previous tutorial. So set active sheet. And what sheet do we want to set active? That's going to be our sheet. And where do we want to position that? So that's our next task. So we want to say spreadsheet move active sheet. And we want to position that to our index position plus one and that'll get us in the right location. Now, if you don't want to start your sort at the very beginning of the tab, add an extra value. So maybe you won't have your notes first and then your dates, and you want everything starting after your notes, add an extra one to it. So increase it by the total number where you want to start your position from. Okay, I think we've got everything. So let's hit save and go ahead and hit runsies and have a look at the dates below. So we now can see down below, we've got the 1st of the 6th, and then 2nd of June, 3rd of June, and then the 4th of June, and notes is at the end. Sweet. Okay, let's reverse that now. So reverse is true. We hit save. And now we've got our dates in reverse order. What about if we want our notes first? So let's drag this over to here. We need to then go down to our bottom one and maybe add it by two this time, our index starting at two. So we'll hit save now. And then we are going to remove the reverse. We'll hit save again and then run. Awesome, so everything is starting after notes. Perfect, okay. That's all you need to know to sort your sheet tabs by dates in Google Sheets with some Google Apps Script magic. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.